Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pre New York session analysis and trade ideas. Today is the 22nd of September 2023, 2023, 2023. Um, and yeah, so let's uh, jump into the markups and see what uh, what's going on today, what's going to be setting up. So today we've got um, not got too much news to worry about today. Um, PMI and the FOMC member speaking, so could just be a little bit of um, you know volatility there, but not expect too much there. We had obviously the uh, main refinancing from the Bank of England yesterday. They paused as well in line with the Fed, so uh, there was a bit of weakness in the pound following that, and some of the statements that were said by Richie Sunak. Um, so yeah. Nothing too much to worry about today on the news. Just mark them on as usual, uh, just so you're aware of them, just in case you see some price action that um, looks a bit awry and you're not quite sure what it is. So you can sort of look at the news and see if there's anything come out um, that could be causing the markets to act in a way that you're not expecting. So uh, today, um, more like more hard probability setups will be short, um, but Depending on how we open, uh, I am uh, willing to take longs. Uh, just maybe got to see what what happens at the open. I mean, f really, for longs to set up for me, uh, we'd have to be trading down towards this nineteen twenty one handle. Um, but to be getting long down here, uh, there wouldn't really be anything else for me to get long in this scenario. So shorts are more probable. Um, Going to need to wait and wait until the market opens the new york session uh just to see what's going on that's why i'm doing these so this is a little bit later we can see that it's um 12 39 so i'm trying to do this uh as close as possible to the, the new york session so it's as, as close as we're going to get it um i've you know obviously been a bit earlier just because i've been finding my feet and getting things so i know how long it's taken me to upload things and how long it's taken to get uploaded to youtube and things like that but yeah so shorts are more HP today. Um, yeah, we could get, you know, depending on how it sets up, it doesn't necessarily have to come all the way up to this level, um, but we could also see some profit taken, could see some some bullish moves up higher. Um, but yeah, looking to potentially get short, but if we do trade down lower to the, these 1921s, uh, could be looking for some long opportunities down there. Uh, just looking back at yesterday, um, as we can see, we just we we basically sold off um, from from the from New York Open all the way down to here. Now there was nothing for me to take shorts. There was potentially my entry model down here, um, and this is why it's key to understand not just where price is and how it's got there, but also where you want to execute positions in terms of how it's priced. So when it was down here for me. That was signaling that we were potentially going to and how it had moved like since the london session i was more favoring buys yesterday so although we'd closed below this level uh, i wasn't looking for shorts and i was trying to get in longs and i did get a, a model set up long i just couldn't get the risk to reward um because uh, it was below this it was below this level i just couldn't get the risk to reward to work out in my favor before the, the level so um there was a couple of longs there but you know I can get involved in it and uh, follow my rules and yeah um, unfortunately it's just one of those things sometimes the market's not going to allow you to get into the moves every day um but it is what it is so hope you have a great day have a good trading session and enjoy your weekend